Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Adrian the Barber, and I got a crazy man we transformation for you guys today. Uh, we're going to take 10, 15 years off this guy's life. We're going to give him some waves, a bald fade, freshen him up a little bit. If you guys got questions about any products I use in this video, any of the tools, the hair, the glue, everything's linked in the description below. So you can go and click those links. Um, it'll take you exactly where I get most of those products at. Um, but besides that, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to watch this video with you guys as I always do. Um, and coach you through it step by step. So if you got questions about how to do a certain step, make sure you leave a comment, follow me on Instagram, shoot me a message. I'll try to get back to as many people as I possibly can, but I'm not gonna hold it up no more. Let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. You guys see the before shots. We're gonna, we're gonna take 10 years off of them, at least 10 years, maybe 15. Now, first step, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take our barber pencil or eyeliner pencil, whatever you prefer to use. I usually use white or black, um, sometimes brown. The color really doesn't matter as much just because we're gonna be wiping it away. Um, it's always good to try to get it uh, as close to the color of hair you're using, um, just in case you don't wipe it all the way away. But let's try to make this line as accurate as possible. Um, you don't wanna get stuck in a position where you get to the end and you're lining it up and you can't line it up anymore and straighten the hairline out because your glue is uneven. So try to make this line as accurate as possible. Now I'm just gonna take some uh, rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna spray it on the scalp. I'm just gonna wipe it down. We're just gonna clean the scalp before we put any glue or scalp protectant on it. I'm also gonna start to wipe away the hairline that, that we created. I don't wanna wipe it 100% away, but I do wanna just lighten it up as much as possible where I still see it. You don't want to be in the position to, at the end of the unit where you can uh, still see the hairline through the hair that you already laid down. Then we're going to take some scalp protectant. This is Walker Tape Scalp Protectant. And we're just going to put it anywhere that we're going to lay any glue. Again, all the products I use are linked in the description below. So if you guys got questions about products, um, just, just go down there and you'll uh, have a link to, to buy whatever you need. Now this is bond weave glue. I'm gonna do two layers of glue. I'm gonna use the bond weave for the first layer and then I'm gonna use the ghost bond for the second layer. So I'm just gonna uh, put this all over his head and I'm just gonna take my uh, tint brush and I'm just gonna uh, smooth it out all over like I would the ghost bond. Now with this bond weave, you do wanna work a little bit quicker just for the fact that it dries so fast. And once it dries, we're gonna have a hard time uh, spreading it evenly, evenly over his head. Um, you can see even little clips in here, uh, like when I was recording, um, I let it dry a little bit too much. So now for the hairline, I'm just gonna use the Cuban twist hair. Um, this is a hair I've used. You guys probably, if you watch my previous video, you've seen I've used it multiple times. This is a pretty easy hair to find in most beauty supply stores. Um, the one you'll have a hard time finding is the, the Caribbean Twist. So you probably have to get that on Amazon or any other online beauty supply store. But you see, I, I barely went back. I just uh, really just laid a small amount of glue because I just, I don't want the, there to be a huge difference between the two types of hair that I like. Um, I like this Caribbean Twist hair on the hairline just because it helps you get a sharper hairline compared to just using the, um, the wave hair. Now we we'll take some ghost bond, and we're just gonna lay the ghost bond over the bond of weave. Make sure the bond of weave is 100% dry, um, and we're gonna lay that ghost bond. We're gonna spread it out just like we did the previous glue. Same tint brush, and just going in, nice even layer. Try to get it as even as, even as possible. Sometimes I waste a lot of glue. I put a lot of glue, and then most of it will get wiped out. Not most of it, but a good amount of it will. Uh, be left on my brush, um, but I always rather be safe to sorry when it comes to the glue. I don't want my glue falling out after that bad hair pile. No. <laughs> so yeah, this is a nice even coat all the way around his head. Now we're gonna get in to laying the hair. Um, this hair is also linked down in the description below. This is the Caribbean twist. And the hair for the hairline is the Cuban Twist. And the brand for this hair is the uh, Model Model. And you can see my old wave video, this is the same, um, the same hair that I used. Yeah. And so you can kind of start wherever you want. Sometimes I start in the middle, sometimes I start in the edge. Um, I guess it just kind of depends uh, on the client. 
or the technique I decide to use at the, at the end of the service, it's gonna be the same. But we're gonna match these hairs up, each strand. Uh, we're gonna lay them one by one and match up the pattern so we can create a natural wave look. And it's always better to let that ghost bond dry a little bit, just so it's just so it's tacky right away. And so that way when you put that hair on, you don't have the problem with hair falling off. But ghost bond usually dries uh, pretty quick too, I guess depending on how much you use, how thick you your layer is. But we're just gonna follow the same technique all the way around the head. strand by strand. On this unit, I started on the right side and I laid, you know, a quarter of the hair and I moved to the left side, laid another quarter of the hair and then just kind of closed the gap from there. But your biggest thing, so you get that natural wave pattern, um, is you have to match up the, the pattern of the hair. If you just start laying the hair and it's not matching up, you're not getting the grooves in uh, together, then at the end, you're just going to have a head full of uh, round the uh, looking mess. Um, <laughs> and you, you don't want to do that. The client's not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy. So just take your time and just try to lay them as uh, uniformly as possible. Now with him, since he had like such a large balding pattern, um, you, you see how I'm kind of laying them and I'm bringing them towards the back just to get a more natural uh, wave pattern. You watched my previous wave video I did with this hair. Um, you see like his, his bottom hair stopped like right at the crown. And so I just laid him straight back. I didn't have to curve him or anything like that. But we're working with the bigger hair here too, so I'm gonna lay him a little bit different. And so I did the right side and I moved to the left side. And I'm just gonna just meet him up in the middle. Again, take your time. Um, don't rush with these, especially if you're new at them. Um, sometimes this hair can be tricky to, to get to line up uh, uniform. Again, if you guys got questions about anything, um, make sure you subscribe, leave comments, um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram. You see my Instagram information up in the top left hand corner, or top right hand corner. Follow me over on there, shoot me a message. Um, Repetitive uh, style. We're just gonna continue to lay the hair, matching them up. We're just gonna close this gap. So after we get all the hair on, we're just gonna take a blow dryer, blow dry it, let that hair set it to the glue. Um, you can take a wave cap, put a wave cap on, let them sit in the wave cap for 10 or 15 minutes. But the biggest thing is you just want to make sure it's dry before you start cutting the hair. Now just grab some shears, we're going to go in and just cut off all those loose ends. And you, can, you can use your clippers for this as well. But I like to use my shears just because it's easier and you have less of a mess. Uh, when you're uh, cutting this hair down, uh, your clippers tend to get stuck sometimes. So if that glue is not dry, then your clippers can actually pull some of the hair off and, uh, out of the pattern. And so, like I said, take some time, um, make sure it's dry, let them sit for 10, 15 minutes, blow dry it for a few minutes, and then just get into just cutting the hair down as you, as you naturally do. And so with this, we can't use the garage where it's going to freehand it. So I got my wall seniors, I'm just going to go over there, I'm just going to cut, cut it pretty low. You can see as you start cutting and you start to get lower, it starts to come uh, more together. It starts to look more natural, more realistic. So yeah, take your time. Just try to get as even as possible. Um, you don't want to, you know, be in a rush and actually go too low on a certain part. And, and, I mean, you can 
get to where you cut it down to the scalp. I'm just gonna cut it as low as we can and try to blend it in with the natural hair that he has. So after you go ahead and get it all cut down, you got your clippers, you get a haircut, we're gonna give him a, we're gonna give him a drop fade. He just kind of went with his uh, balding pattern. Uh, his hair naturally dropped back. And then after you get done with the haircut, now you know we're at the lineup phase. Um, this is the point that we strive to get to because this is when the unit actually starts to really come together and, and start to look like actual hair. With these units, um, you tend to have to use more color compared to like the full lace units or the polyurethane base units. Um, with those, I don't use too much color at all. I don't use too much enhancement at all with those units. Um, but these, these single strain units, you do have to use a little more color, more hair fibers to get them to blend in more. Like you see on the hairline, like there's no color on there yet. And the hairline comes out looking pretty natural. But then the seam is the part to where you're gonna have to put those hair fibers or uh, you know your, your color. So I use Kiss Express in my, in my air gun. I mix it with alcohol to one ratio. And we're just gonna, uh, this, this is the final step. After you get the hair cut down, you got your hair cut done, um, you line them up, and you're just gonna use your color to blend it in. So now, here are all the before and afters. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, happy to be back with you on YouTube. If you got questions, hit me up. But again, this is the Adrian Barber, and until the next time, I'm out.